Hey guys, it's me, Ty. Happy late afternoon. It is Saturday, April 8th, which means today is the 17th day of Ramadan and my 17th Ramadan daily vlog. Yeah. Guys, I cannot believe I have vlogged every day for 17 days straight and it's been just it's been okay but I also cannot believe that we are more than halfway through Ramadan it feels like it just started and I can't believe we it's almost over I'm it, coming to you guys really late today because to be honest I was so tired like we got back yesterday from our excursions. If you haven't seen yesterday's vlog, check it out. We had so much fun. So when I came home after we had dinner and kind of relaxed, I fell asleep. And I must admit that like the, the Ramadan schedule has really, with the way I'm trying to, with the goals I'm trying to achieve and um, what I'm trying to stick to, it really, it has honestly been very tiring. With Ramadan being halfway over, I really have to regroup and get it together because I, I want to end Ramadan, Ramadan just as strongly as I started. And thinking of um, the last days of Ramadan, I'm starting to kind of think about Eid, which happens at the end of Ramadan for those who are non-Muslims. And so it's kind of a big celebration and we have special prayers. You're supposed to wear new clothes and visit friends and we give gifts, especially to the children. This year I was going with like a color scheme for at least our clothes for the family. <laughs> I like to do that because we all look we all look nicer in pictures when we're kind of coordinated. Two and And so one year we did pink with the girls. The girls wanted to do pink. And pink is not my most favorite color. So we all, you know, the three of us wore uh, pink dresses and my husband just wore something, you know, he wanted to wear, but we all still look nice together in the pictures. And so I promised um, my little daughter that one Eid we would do purple, which is her favorite color. So I have been searching far and wide, online, in stores for, these purple dresses and not just um, regular kind of plum royal purple. Her favorite color, her favorite shade is more of like a lavender color. So I think I showed you guys in an earlier vlog that we found this kind of lavender kind of netted almost like lace like dress and um, at Walmart. I wish it had more sparkle but she likes it and so we're gonna go with that. And we'll add sparkle with like jewelry and bangles and some shiny shoes and stuff like that. So this is the shade that she likes and I could not find for the life of me a lavender colored abaya. And I was searching high and low for one in this shade for myself and one for my daughter. We actually found a lavender abaya on Amazon of all places um, in the lavender color for my oldest daughter. She actually wore it in yesterday's vlog, but it's too long for her, so I'm still searching for something for her. And I just had the hardest time finding something for me in that shade. So um, I started to kind of expand my options and I figured the girls will look young and fresh in that light lavender color. And I could still look, you know, I could still coordinate with them by using a, a darker purple color. So I already have an underdress in kind of this shade of purple, which is more of like a, a royal purple kind of color. And I saw a few things. And what I fell in love with is this open front abaya on um, urban modesty and I you guys know I talk about urban modesty all the time I've got my lavender suit and my salmon pink colored suit from there and those are pretty much the only two items I've ever ordered from there and both of those items came they fit well and everything was great so um, when it came to ordering this abaya I felt really confident 
And I ordered it early because whenever Eid comes around and you've got limited supply of the really pretty things that are not super expensive, things tend to go really quickly. So I went ahead and placed my order with Urban Modesty and this is what came in the mail. Ta-da! Look at that beading. It's so pretty. I love it. Like when I saw it on Urban Modesty, I was um, really excited and I was happy with the compromise that I made. And I was like, it's enough shimmer and shine and it's enough, you know, kind of detail to make it special for E. But do you guys see anything wrong with this? They sent me the, the abaya in the wrong color. Now this is beautiful. I like this in black. This is really, really pretty. The only thing is that it's not what I ordered. And I thought that I made a mistake on my order. So I went back and looked and it says purple. It says large purple uh, sequin abaya. And I submitted a customer service um, complaint or request or something and they haven't gotten back to me at all. And it makes me so sad and disappointed because I was raving about their site and I really like their, um, their clothes, but I'm just really disappointed that no one has gotten back to me. It's been over a week or more and no one has addressed the concern. And I happened to go to the website to see if maybe um, I can just order another one. It was all sold out. So um, I ended up having to buy something else. Uh, the funny thing is, is that it comes with a coordinating hijab and they sent the hijab in the right color. <laughs> so they sent the, and you can see, um, it says Urban Modesty on here. And they sent it in the right color. They sent the purple chiffon hijab that's supposed to go with the purple <laughs> sequin abaya. And yeah, I don't know. They really dropped the ball with this one. And it, it really like, um, is making me sad because it would have been so pretty. Look at this, it's so pretty. <sighs> That's my, my Abaya debacle. In the end, it's just a dress, but I just wanted to like, <laughs> I had to vent and I had to tell somebody. And my husband was just like, eh. So with all this dress shopping, this has really got my mind thinking about Eid, which is coming soon. And I've been thinking about how I want to decorate the house um, and some stuff that I need to get. I thought I had more Eid decor than I actually do. We used to live in a much smaller place when we lived in California. And now that we're in a much bigger place, I realize I don't have that many things. So I have been like on Amazon like all day long. Amazon, Etsy, Days of Eve with the, with a spin, um, Rossum, all of the places that I've showed you before. So I'm gonna show you some of the things that I've been looking at and how I've decorated in the past um, to give you guys some ideas for how I'm gonna decorate for Eve and maybe it will inspire you when you start decorating for Eve. 